TMZ Live, Charles here. Lauren here. Well... Okay. Do you, do you know about, about how long before they come to me? Okay. Okay, so I muted my mic. I know I look crazy right now, but <laughs> they will only see the top half of me. Um, that, that's how TMZ Live is anyway. It's only like right here. So I just put on a shirt because I had on this one piece and I was like, I forgot I'm about to be on TV. So I put on a shirt and I am waiting right now. We're doing TMZ Live via FaceTime and Skype right now because everybody's working from home. So we're about to film the live show on Fox with TMZ literally from my living room. So yeah and then after this i'll go back to stories like working on stories for the website and hopefully eat breakfast okay no he he would have ne he would not have thought about that because so many people discount influencers discount people like the kardashians they do have an influence and what he's saying is correct because i know a lot of people my age right now they're worried about booking flights because flights are cheap and i'm not done in anybody for whatever choice that they decide to make but he does have a point when you are young and we're susceptible to this as well you do you're able to pass it along to people who you really care about who ultimately may not be able to fight the virus as well as we may be able to right Thank you. See you tomorrow. And boom, we are done. So that's how TMZ Live has been working every single day, right here from my computer. It's a little weird because, like, normally, like, of course, we're all in the same room, we're all in the newsroom. So, like, you actually can, like, you have people talking to you in person. You're able to, like, go back and forth a little bit more conversation wise. Um, what we've been doing now is, like, my mic will be up. When your mic is up, that basically means your mic is hot or it's live, so they can hear whatever you're saying. And I know that my mic is up and they've come to me because the, it's like I'm FaceTiming, so the screen will switch like my little picture in the corner will get bigger on FaceTime, so I know like, okay, it's time for me to weigh in on whatever we're talking about. So yeah, the, the upside to all of this is the fact that I have great lighting here. So now, now it's back to uh, my work computer and working on these stories for the day so my goal every day has been to get uh two stories at least two stories i was about to say you go follow me. um yeah my goal for the day has been to get at least two stories a day and i've been doing good um yesterday i got one in like a possible but all the whole week i've been doing two stories a day which is a good amount of stories for a producer especially when I was working from home right now. Everything, of course, that we're covering right now is coronavirus related. So that's what I'm focusing on. And when I say like get stories, I mean like, we just look at like what's happening in the world right now and develop angles. Like, so now this is like the producer part of my job that I'm about to go into right here from this couch. All right, y'all, so right now what I'm doing, um. I was looking up a number for a contact for another story that I'm working on and then see this is why like for me although I'm working on stories I always like make sure I'm checking my timelines like Instagram Twitter um, all that stuff because what people are talking about and like what people are actually doing on social media always gives me like good story ideas so i literally just got an idea for another story and then this is my work notebook right here it makes life a lot easier when i'm like already paying attention to stuff so by habit i pay attention to everything on social media on like blogs on news sites all that but i'm adding that to my list right now like the new idea that i just had um and then I also will write down anything that I need to follow up on from the day before. 
So yeah, and I'm in my brown girl grinding t-shirt. You know, you know. <laughs> From seasonofsolo.com. I've really been just chilling. Like, I've been wearing like sweats and t shirts um, all week. Like, I haven't really, because I'm, I literally am sitting in my living room all day. to head outside y'all and I'm a little scared I got some t-shirts to ship out oh wait I'm supposed to be checking to see if there's gloves in here coronavirus got me nervous as hell y'all we have one glove I don't even know if it's worth it I'm gonna just grab this hand sanitizer <sighs> I guess I could be quick. I need to grab a thing. Staples is closed. I know the staples are trying to print out the shipping labels and they're closed. So the dollar store is right next to it. I'm about to be really, really quick in here because now I gotta try and make it to FedEx. All right, aluminum foil. You said we need aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just a little quick little drive through. Y'all, so this is crazy. Oh, shit. Um, so we just did a story. Teams, we just did a story. The, the mayor just issued this, like, they just passed some, what is it? So it's called a uh, safer at home long day quarantine for all residents to help flatten out the curve of the coronavirus pandemic. LA residents will no longer be able to leave their homes as ordered by Mayor Eric Garcetti, except for medical reasons and or grocery store runs. It is called the safer at home order. So they, wow. Um, the new countywide policy comes on the heels of the city of San Francisco enacting the same rules, which match what Italy began doing last week after it was hit hard by the coronavirus cases. Yeah, this is insane. Garcetti says the lockdown will be in effect starting Friday and ending on April 19th. Wow, this is crazy. I have two, um, even the solo orders that I gotta send out tonight. And then after that, we're gonna go to wherever we can find some stuff at. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm not even like, I'm not scared. Cause like, I know I'm covered. I know God got us. But it's just, it's just weird. Like, I I don't know. I don't, I don't think I would ever think in my lifetime I would experience something like this. I think that's the scary part of it is like, Dang, like this is really happening. This is really something out of a movie. This is crazy. I kind of wish I was home right now. Like in, in Delaware. Yeah. I really do kind of wish I was home right now. So like I just went to FedEx um, in a Staples or whatever. Basically what's happening is the, the mayor's office just put into effect an order that will close down any business that's not an essential like necessity for human life. So like they'll keep banks open, they'll keep grocery stores open, uh, news and media outlets that want to remain open, like in office, they're allowing them to stay open. But anything like a Staples or a something like that, there is not going to be open. Like they're trying to make it where more people don't want to come out of their house and then they're also urging people very very heavily very strongly not to come out in groups larger than 10. now the weird thing about this is and i remember i told y'all that there's not a 24-hour lockdown in place this is how san fran started out like at first they just closed all um unessential businesses and then it went into complete 24-hour lockdown so this is kind of like step one She stores are so empty.
All right, y'all, so I'm home. I'm about to unpack these groceries that we got um, and try and put them away. So yeah, got dishes in the sink. Don't shame me for my dishes in the sink. I'm about to do the dishes too. I just can't believe this. Like, I was just talking to my mom, like this is kind of crazy. This is really kind of crazy, like, crazy, crazy, y'all. Got these, um, corn pops, cereal. I'm not a big cereal person, but being home all day makes you just eat some more juices. Some more fabulous little cells to, like, wipe down stuff. No, they didn't have rice on rice, so nothing like that, of course. I also got some more dish pods, too, for the, um, for the dishwasher. More soap. At this point, I'm just like stocking up on stuff like that we already have, but like just in case. Always gotta be ready. Period. <laughs> oh, yeah, get it. Always gotta be ready. Period. I guess I could get stuff in here because it's going in the bathroom. Some more trash bags. And the crazy thing is, is like grocery stores are still gonna be open here, but I just know that just this alert is freaking people out. So people are probably like. They panic shopping right now. Cause that's what I did today. Well, we was already kind of going to go get groceries, but we were thinking about maybe waiting. But after they sent out that alert, I don't know, we, we made our business to go. We got a bunch of these little like pizzas for like lunch and stuff and like days where I don't really want to cook. You like that? Yeah, we're Vegetables, more bathroom stuff, bags of shrimp. 